King, The Mice and the Cheese by Nancy and Eric Gurney. Once upon a time, in a faraway country, there lived a king. He lived in a beautiful palace. He had everything he liked. He liked cheese best of all. His cheesemakers made the best cheese in all the land. Everyone in the palace could smell that cheese. Everyone in the town could smell that cheese. Everyone in the country could smell that cheese. A mouse did. He told all his friends about it. Soon every mouse in all the land was running to the palace. The mice had fun living with the king and eating his cheese, but the king did not like this. He called in his wise men. How can I get rid of these mice? He asked them. The wise men thought of a wonderful idea. The wise men brought in cats, big cats, little cats, fat cats, and thin cats. The mice chasing cats did a very good job. Soon all of the mice were gone from the palace. Now the cats were very happy. They liked living with the king. But the king was not happy. He did not like living with cats. The king called back his wise men. How can I get rid of these cats? He asked them. That's easy, said the wise men. We know just how to get rid of them. The wise men brought in dogs, big dogs, little dogs, white dogs, and spotted dogs. The cat chasing dogs did a very fine job. Soon all of the cats were gone from the palace. Now the dogs were very happy. They liked living with the king. But the king was not happy. He did not like living with dogs. Once again, the king called in his wise men. Can you get rid of these dogs? He asked them. We surely can, the wise men said. The wise men brought in lions. Big, big, brave lions. The dog chasing lions did a great job. They chased those dogs, every last one of them, out of the palace. Now the lions were very happy. They liked living with the king. But the king was not happy. He did not like living with lions. For the fourth time, he called in his wise men. Again, you must help me, begged the king. Once again, the wise men said it would be easy. Elephants. The wise men brought in elephants to chase the lions away. The lion chasing elephants did a wonderful job. Soon every last lion was gone. The elephants were very, very happy living with the king. But the king was most unhappy living with elephants. How do you get rid of elephants? yelled the king. We can do it, said the wise men. We will do it right away. They brought back all the mice. 
the elephant chasing mice went right to work. The mice chased every elephant out of that palace. But now the poor king was right back where he started. Mice, mice, they were everywhere. Mice, mice, eating his cheese. What am I going to do? For three long days, the king sat and asked himself that question. After three days of thinking, he thought of the only answer. The king called all the mice together. Listen, boys, let's make a deal, said the king. I'll learn how to get along with you. You'll learn how to get along with me. From then on, the king shared his cheese with the mice. And the mice learned how to eat with very nice manners. To find The King, The Mice, and the Cheese, and other books by Nancy and Eric Gurney, visit your local library.